Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to parse HTML file with CSS in Rust programming language. Let's move to the project. In last video, we have created this project. I have explained you that how to create a web server. Now I am going to tell you that how you can add your HTML file in this in place of single line of tag so for that i am just uh, uh, using here src folder under this i am creating a directory i say public directory remember that under this public directory i am creating a my index.html file and here i am just creating html file and here i say i can say rust first html file and here i say h1 remember and i say doctor weapon classes and here i say h1 i say welcome to web page with html and css in rust like this and here i say h2 place of h1 and i use css also so for css i go there and i say style i create a tag style like this under this style i say h1 tag and here i say color of this h1 is i say red one and uh, i say color for h2 is also i say blue one so or can say blue violet i can say like this save this so like this i'm creating this color red and this and this is welcome to web page with html css dr weapon classes remember that this is our style and uh, now go to main file here i want to include this for including this i need to add a a new package i say cargo add and i say text a text file this library i want to add so you see this library has been added so go to this toml file and you see actus file is also there and after this on top of this i say use actix files as fs so i'm using this file like this so here is a service so i'm just making comment of route and here in this service i am creating one more service info is also working and in this service i pass here fs and i say file i say new and here here i pass the root directory and i want to pass this folder to src and an src go to public directory that i want to explain under the public directory we have a static file and we have this file also then files okay then i need to pass here index file and here i say index.html this i need to pass here you see so i say double quote so index.html index file that i am going to pass here we have to close it here because this information i need to pass this is the information and after that i need to pass this here inside a service so this is like a service remember that so in service i am passing that you have to run the root but data is found here and data is index.html means all the files in html format will run from this folder and main file is index.html so this is all about to include html file now i say cargo run and try to see if everything is okay then it will allow to run so you see it is running now once again i refresh it and you will see that html file is coming remember this is my html page uh, this i have created here this one uh, but i am not using css here so i think i did mistake i need to put semicolon and once again i refresh it you see it was a mistake in place of colon we need semicolon so css is also working you see and this is a web page which I am running here. So this is in bold letter. Then this is Dr. Weapon classes in a small violet color. You see. So this HTML page, whatever I write here, is a static one. We have a CSS also. And I'm passing this here in use of this service. And not only this file, if I create one more file, I can use that also. Suppose I create one more file. I say uh, about dot HTML like this. And then I say like this and i say here about page and here i say h1 i say doctor weapon classes 
and if I put here style also, so I say style and here I say color is red, remember, simple one and uh, if I go there and in place of this, I say about.html, enter and you see about.html is also running. That means you can run your static page under this directory, which I have explained you here in main file. You see under this src public directory, under this public directory, this is a main file that will open with the help of this root. Means if I run my application without passing any file, just like uh, uh, 3000 port if I run then it will run this file but if I mention any file like this HTML so it will not spelling mistake about ab about.html then it will run from this directory remember that with the help of this I am able to run my static website from this folder and one by one we can run any number of file now in a next video i will explain you how you can use bootstrap inside this and how you can make a small website with the navigation also with menu bar how you can do in rust programming language with the help of bootstrap that i'm going to explain you in next video if you like this please help me to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video Thank you.